Hello friends, welcome to my channel Go Digit. Today in this video, we will learn about an AI tool uh, which I find very useful in writing AL extensions. So uh, that's why I really wanted to share this with all of you that uh, if you are interested in learning an AI and want to use AI in your day to day routine uh, for writing AL code, then I prefer that you should use Claude AI. Uh, which is uh, I would say not new in the market but giving a very tough competition when it uh, comes to writing code in AL language or any other programming language. It's like code quality is superb in, in this when compared with other AI tools like ChatGPT, Windows Copilot or Google Gemini, right? So as, I sh as I'm currently showing up you this Claude.ai, so when you use this URL and you log in using your personal email ID or company's email ID. It just opens up you the same uh, chat interface where you just type your query and it will give you the code and the answers accordingly, which you can copy paste and use in the VS code. However, that thing is not very much appropriate and uh, if it would be really better if there is some something uh, which we can integrate directly in the VS code just like the GitHub Copilot. So, uh, like to inform you that uh, Cloud AI also gives us one uh, more uh, tool called API Console. And if we use that uh, and if we create an API key there, it will does wonder and we can directly integrate it into the VS Code. So, this is the Anthropic Console or Cloud Console. And you can see here that I have already logged in using my credentials and then uh, of course you have to uh, buy like input uh, some uh, like you have to buy some credits into it because you know you like API hits uh, generally involves the cost right. So you have to uh, minimum $5 they want that, that you should invest here and then uh, whatever number of AI, API hits you will pass from your VS code. Uh, the money will deduct from there but the thing is it is really really good enough and after login you just have to go to this api key section and create an api key which i already did and then afterwards uh, you just have to uh, integrate uh, in the vs code using that api key so i'll just show you up i open this vs code screen and as you can see this extension called progress bar uh, this also I have created using this Claude AI only without writing a single line of code. If I show you up the output, <coughs> you can see here that this is the extension where, for example, if I input 60 uh, here and press enter, you will see that I get this output. If I press 70, I'll get this kind of an animation. If I type 90, I'll get this type. I'll, I'll get type 10 I'll see this so basically it's like a progress bar which uh, gives us the kind of a graphic however <coughs> this is not using control add-in as I showed you up here it's a complete code written in AL language only using that Claude AI tool right I have not written as I mentioned again not even a single variable okay so how to use this Claude AI into your VS code uh, for that you have to go to the extensions and type C line here. When you press enter you have to install this extension into your VS code and it will not take much time but <coughs> you can see here that C line is nothing but an autonomous coding agent right in your IDE. So it's not uh, something that uh, you install this and you can start directly using the cloud services. However, once you install this, you click on this icon, C line icon. And now, although you can see that this extension needs an API provider for Claude 3.7 Sonnet. Okay, <clears throat> I'll tell you what does it mean. So, you can see that API provider basically. It's not something that it always uh, be linked with the cloud, but let's say you have uh, the subscription of ChatGPT or Google Gemini, DeepSeek, OpenAI, like OpenAI as I told you, 
Olama, which is a pretty much popular uh, open source AI tool, right? So, based on the fact that uh, if you have an API key of out of any of these, you can select them and type the API key here. I have the API key for the Claude, which is from Anthropic. So, I'll select this and <coughs> this is my API key, which I generated through this API console. So, I'll pass it up here and click on let's go <coughs> allow so you can see here that it is linked to that and now if I really want that you can read files and directories edit files and so on so you can tick these settings accordingly otherwise it will always ask you before updating creating any sort, sort of file like this okay <coughs> So let's type our first request and I could say that I have prepared some prompts. So this will be my first prompt. <coughs> when you pass your prompt here, so basically it is sending an API request to that API console of Claude and then I will get the output from there. Okay. You can see here the CLN wants to read this file. Okay, you can read this proof. <coughs> wants to read this file as well. Go. And you can see that it is showing me the cost as well. Uh, whatever API request I'm, it is sending to that. So, of course, each API hit is linked to one API cost. Okay, so after that, it has created one file and it is showing me up the code which is written of course uh, I am not happy with this so as you can see that it is not using the Kelsey field function which is quite surprising for me because yesterday only it writes a very well code like what it writes is that if customer dot find first then customer dot Kelsey field and then exit customer dot balance if item dot find first and item dot Kelsey field and then item dot invent so, in just one attempt, it gives me the very, very good results. I don't know why it's not using Kelsey field at the moment. Uh, so, let me reject it. Okay. Uh, approve. So, it did not create the file. Uh, mm. Okay, let me save it, but I am not happy with the results, so I can pass a query to them that query to this tool that you are not using. <clears throat> code is not corrected, code is not right. Both balance and inventory fields are not normal fields please correct the code okay so now you can see here that it is showing us the difference as well based on what it has written previously what was it and now you can see here that it is now using customer dot Kelsey fields and item dot Kelsey fields right so in just one more prompt it gave me the correct results which I am telling you that last time it gives me the very very good results uh, in just one prompt but anyway in the second prompt it gave it corrected its mistake and it giving me the right type of output that it is using it as a Kelsey field okay no problem uh, start new task uh, a second prompt let's give it and it is a little challenging this time because I'm gonna ask it to write a new test code unit for us okay so let's see how it will perform although I already tested it before so that's I'm that's why I'm showing you to the tested prompts only but <coughs> let's see how it performs now
of course if i select this try to read everything accordingly it will not ask me these questions so never mind let's approve read all the files so it is currently reading all your objects into this file and based on the fact it is <coughs> creating the code for us and once it is done i'll show you the up the complete code save so now uh, okay updates some code unit and i think it's still processing yeah it writes for something and then again it find it's a little bit maybe it find something wrong there so it's again writing so it's still processing mm i think this time it's doing something wrong previously it used uh, correct library functions but now it is not using it let me save it okay for the timing it's i don't know why it's avoiding uh the standardized libraries code units but let's see what it has written for me it is creating customer item and so on which is obviously not good code uh again wrong code you should use standard test libraries to perform all all the operations okay so now it will update the code although maybe it's my mistake that in my prompt uh, i should pass this information to this claude that please use the standard test libraries in order to write the test code unit but anyway now it will update and correct the code for me so once it is done let's see the results okay save so now uh, you will see okay so you what you can see here that let me check if we need to add a dependency to the app.json file to include the test libraries in business central test libraries are typically part of application test or the application test library app yes please approve so it is currently checking that whatever test libraries it has added in the test code units are the part of the app file or not and you can see it that it automatically detects uh, and added the dependency test or hyphen test library for me which is really really an amazing thing right symbols are missing download the symbols <coughs> save so currently it is downloading the test library in the l package packages for me so that's why please authenticate okay i need to authenticate using my username and password symbols have been downloaded let it update the code accordingly oh it did not wait for me again my mistake 
wrong code reject let me again yeah so it is currently doing however okay are you done or not save okay it is asking me a question but i i am interested in checking this file so you can see from here that it has used the libraries functions library says library purchase uh, library inventory code unit and library says dot create customer library inventory dot create item although little bit wrong code which can be corrected i i'll do one thing <coughs> let me delete this file and again this time <coughs> write a test code unit using standard test libraries functions with the following for the following test functions okay point number 1 point number 2 let's see this time i have refined my prompt so i believe now it will use the or give me the correct code actually my prompt was uh, not good enough save so now uh, again updating i am really not sure why it is uh, taking time today and not giving us the right results uh, in just one go but yesterday it was very it was giving very amazing results it's not working it's not working correctly reject but anyway uh, i'm so sorry guys i don't know what's happened today uh, sometimes it is using library code units and then again it modifies the code i'm i'm not happy at least with today's performance but that is what it is uh, as you know that ai technology ai tool is constantly uh, getting evolved right so you have to be very adaptive with it but believe me uh, yesterday it gave me very very amazing results when it comes to writing this test code unit using completely uh, in just one go without any error right as you can see from here as well uh, currently library limited or create item create purchase header create purchase line then post purchase document checking the assert are not equal as well okay so and this progress bar code and this utility functions kelsey field all output was in just simple one prompt right maybe there is today is not a lucky day at least for me or maybe my prompt is this is not liking this is not liking today uh, but i i hope that uh, it will correct its mistake soon and however uh, i just told you that please start using this cloud ai please test it for yourself maybe uh, you will also find findings find some errors but believe me uh, it is gradually improving with each passing day and i believe uh, it will help you in writing a good al code uh, in the near future uh, so start using ai in your day to day uh, routine jobs and it will work wonders for you thank you so much for watching this video if you like it please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel